All right, welcome back. So, playing some more Teardown. Uh, I'm pretty sure we read these two messages at the end of the last episode. Uh, what do we got here? I must say I'm very happy with our fruitful collaboration. I'd like to suggest we deepen our relationship with something I ca or we call motivational reminders. It's a marketing technique that we sometimes employ for key customers. I recently made a or had a meeting with Mr. Um, Amonitides about the policy for Blue Tide Incorporated. He's hesitating to include his propane tanks in the policy, and I think a friendly reminder on why that is a good idea could nudge him in the right direction. Since I don't run Gordon's account anymore, an upsell to Mr. Amonitides would look really pretty on my bonus check. Of course, I'll make sure you are properly compensated and have all expenses covered. So we gotta go back to Hollow Rock Island. Motivational reminder, destroy Mr. Amonitides, or Amonitides propane tanks for Jillian to demonstrate the true value of pro proper insurance. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming this might be a very good thing for us because in the last episode, at the very end, we actually upgraded our pistol uh, quite a bit. So we've got a lot more range on this thing now. And if this mission is like what I'm thinking it's going to be, this is very cool, by the way. There's a whole like underground cave system going on here. Okay, so there's one. Can I, can I move these around? What do we got here? So there's one here. Bring the pressure cooker behind the, uh, oh, this is behind the pressure cooker. Okay, so there's quite a few of these. I'm wondering, can we, that's not how you do it. Uh, <laughs> I'm wondering if he can break these loose. Okay, yeah, so it looks like we can. Uh, the question is, is it going to be easy to just kind of grab these and move them where we want them to go? I thought that was one. <laughs> uh, so let me see what we can do here. Because it may be, it may be kind of difficult to get these where I need them to be. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take a little bit of finessing to get this thing out of here. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I'm awake. our best plan of action here because I don't even know what we need to be really doing with these that one's on the roof I think my best plan of action is just going to be get these into an area 
that I can just shoot them pretty easily. And I don't think that's going to be... I don't think that's going to be a very hard thing to do. Okay. So we've got this one out in the open. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's one in this lower room right here, maybe? Yes. Okay, so... Question is... What would be the easiest way to get this out? Okay. Okay, so it's right there. If we do a good old quick save and bomb the wall right here. Oh. out of the way honestly the bombs are probably like the best thing that's ever happened to us because I remember when we first started the game it was so hard to get through any of this like brick and concrete and stuff like that and now it is just second nature this game's just got really good progression as far as I'm concerned Okay, so blowtorch. I'm glad we upgraded our blowtorch's uh, sort of, uh, whatchamacallit, fuel. Oh. Quick question. Can I detach this? Looks like I can. I don't need to waste a whole lot of this propane or uh, fuel. So I'm going to try to be careful with it. Okay. Um. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It scares me so bad when I do that. Uh, I can't hit. Yeah, I didn't figure I could. Okay, so after a little bit of finagling, I'm wondering how long the distance on this uh, pistol is now. So, like, if I come over here... <laughs> okay, so it knocked it over, but it didn't blow it up. Okay, so I mean, I can get rid of those pretty quickly. Is the pistol not going to do enough damage to these? So if I do, sorry if you can hear that, it's the mic arm. Okay, so I mean, pretty simple. I got to be a little bit closer to them if I want to like actually take them down in one shot. But those two next to each other should be pretty nice. And if possible, I, I mean, I can always move them all closer to each other later. I know that there's one on top of this building, and there is one right here. I'm assuming this is underneath. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a tough one to get with all the rest of them. I think maybe we should... I'm not going to be able to get through that right there, unless a bomb will blow through that. Which it will not. Uh, we can just blow through this. Jesus. Okay, so we'll blow through that. And then uh, I guess we shall, we'll just try and, I 
get over here. And uh, we'll just we'll just try to like peek over the edge here and shoot that one out of the way, I guess. Because that one's gonna be like a really tough one to like move out of this little hole. Okay, so that kind of solves that problem. The other problem that we have is that we need to get on top of uh, this right here. I hate that that bent that right there. Okay, there's not going to be an easy way for us to get off of this, so I say we just try to move it over here to the um, to the edge of the roof, so that way we can just shoot it off the roof. So we throw that, we throw that. Let's go ahead and do a quick save because I haven't done one in a minute. We'll just kind of. Set this right here. That should make it to where we can run through here, run over here, shoot that. Something is like messing up really bad, like I can hear it like glitching in itself. But uh, we'll just shoot that, run up here. This board is completely screwed up now. Well, we don't even need to get up there anymore anyway, so... Actually, I think we'll, uh... Just to make it a little bit easier, we should probably move it, like, to right there or so. Okay, so that should be in a bit of a better position. So now, when we come over here, we can just look off the side here, shoot that, shoot that, and then run over here and jump on our boat. I'd like to get it up further, but honestly I don't think it's going to be worth doing it like that. So that takes care of all four of these. Now we just need to get these three here. Honestly, I mean if I start like around here and I can get this one to like this edge of this building or whatever, we can shoot that one pretty easily. I need to figure out what's going on with the one over here in the alleyway. But uh, I don't think this any of this is going to be super hard. It's just a lot of preparation, obviously. <laughs> oh, this thing's going to explode. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, damn it. Okay, let's try this one more time. So let's go ahead and quick save this again. I'm wondering if we can... Surprisingly, yes, we can. This off... Throw that away. Set this down on the stairs real quick. We're going to do one more quick save because I'm going to have to get this up the stairs. But the idea here is I want to try to get this um, up here next to this building 
that building right there. God, that scared me. So let me run this over here. Hopefully this doesn't explode. Nice. Okay, so that's there. This one is in the corner over here. Ooh, I didn't like that. How that fell. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get this out of the doorway, actually. I don't think we are. Yeah, okay, so we're not going to be able to get it out of the doorway, which is fine, honestly. Like, we can, uh, I honestly think if we can start in this building right here. No, my box. If we can start in this building right here. Where is... Okay, it's right here. This one's not very difficult. It's just a lot of setup involved, I think. So let's tilt this under, pull this out. I want to quick save really quick just in case because I haven't done it in a second. All right, let's kind of slide this over here towards the window. And then I went a little too far there. Uh, let's do plank up from here to like here. And then honestly, I think this might be the, the way we run it. So we'll shoot this, shoot this, shoot that. I don't think I can hit that one just yet. Shoot this, shoot that. Shoot this, shoot that. We're missing one. What are we missing? Oh, there's one in the lighthouse. I'm dumb. My bad. I've totally got ahead of myself there. Which, that's not going to be a huge issue, too, because that'll just be one extra shot uh, that we'll have to put in. Open you. Come up here. Oh. Kind of a weird placement, but okay. Oh, it's not even the right... Uh, This doesn't work either. Oh my god, I fell quite a ways there. Okay, get me out of this water. Get me out of here. Come on now, get me out of here. I think if we have that. Oh my god. I think if we have that right there, like we can just. Uh, we can shoot this, which blows up two, shoot that, shoot this one. And then we can just run it like this, and then I think we'll be good here, so. Okay. Yeah, this was uh, pretty easy. 
Nice. Obviously, that one was a lot of setup, but we got all of them on that one, so I'm proud of that. 35 seconds left. 20 minute mission. Not too bad. Obviously, there's some of it I'm going to have to cut out for the episode, but I mean, altogether, not a bad episode. Oh, what up? A cash reward has been delivered. I'm assuming because we're only getting cash rewards now, um, that means that we've probably gotten all the tools at this point. I just, I really like the fact that, like, we can see the, the area progressing still and everything. Dang. Two thousand dollars? Jesus. Alright, what do we, uh... Uh, I think we still need to get one upgrade for this, so damage is up on that. Uh, it couldn't hurt us to get all these bombs. And then I think we should be fine for now, obviously. We don't have a whole lot of money left for anything else, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more content in the future, and I will see you guys in the next episode. So I'll see you then.